Today I am going to be answering the question that all of you have been asking, and that is, where the hell have I been? The answer to that question is going to be in one of the following four statements, which you will have to let me know in the comment section below which of the following statements you think is the truth. And spoiler, I will tell you a little bit later which of those four is actually the truth. I was kidnapped by a dragon and forced to count its riches. 1,428,000, 1,429,000, 1,400,000, ugh. One, two. Oh, I've just been over here seam ripping this tool dress. Oh, I've just been sitting here waiting for you to subscribe. Yeah, you. Just casually over here battling the forces of darkness because I am the slayer. One girl in all the world who, well, you get the rest. Grab a cuppa and keep watching to find out which one was true. So before we get to where I've been and why I haven't uploaded anything in five months and even before that why I haven't been consistent, I want to talk about the channel and all the changes it's going through. Because I'm sure you might have already noticed this channel is no longer called A Vintage Vanity. What does that mean? I tell you. To be completely honest, there was quite a number of reasons for the channel name change. One of them being that in the past five months and even longer than that, I've been really thinking about potentially dumping this channel and starting a new one, which is like such a drastic thing to think about or even say. It took me a long time to like start talking to friends about it. Like, because I just felt like I have been on YouTube for I want to say it's over 10 years and I don't feel like I've ever really hit my stride with it and I definitely feel like I have outgrown what the channel was when I started which was basically hair tutorials and like touching on some like hauls and makeup and that kind of stuff and I just felt like I had reached what I was capable of doing and I've changed over the time period. My audience has changed um, and a lot of you have really changed with me and you've gone through all these like struggles of me like starting back up and then stopping and and to that I <laughs> love you guys so much for that for just being around for like whatever Jen's gonna do. Um, so I decided that I really wanted to change the focus of the channel, but not by that much. <laughs> Basically, hair tutorials, um, you will notice there's a bunch of videos that have been removed from the channel, and it's because I don't want to ch carry them into like the, the second life, the rebirth, the phoenixing of the channel. Um, so I just hid them. I've left some of the hair tutorials up, some of the ones that I'm really proud of, and I really like that how they've turned out. So some of the videos that I really still, basically the ones I don't cringe when I watch, those are still on the channel. So if you notice some of those videos gone, that's why I've just archived them. The name of the channel of Vintage Vanity doesn't really fit where I want to go with the channel. So then I tossed around doing something else with like some cheeky names or something cute naming wise. Uh, but then I felt, again, like, I don't want to box myself in. I really want to kind of play around a little bit and really figure out where, not just me, but where we um, want our relationship to go. <laughs> it's so funny to say, but that's the way I feel. Like, I want to go on this journey with you, and if um, I find, like, something really resonates with me and it's resonating with you guys, I want to explore that avenue. So I figured the best thing to do was more sit back onto a name so it wasn't like boxed into a very specific set. Um, and I also wanted that name to be a combination of my name and somebody um, who meant a lot to me. So I started going through like family members and people that I really love, people that really like influenced me and I couldn't really come up with a perfect last last name, I guess you would call it. 
Um, so I settled on a name that kind of marries two of my grandmas together. So that's where the Elise comes from. And um, I thought that would, and, and I don't like the way it sounded. So it had meaning to me. It just really spoke to women in my life that really helped to shape who I was as a person. So I sat on it for at least two months and then it just felt right. And then I started changing all the naming. So my guess is your next question is, what is this channel gonna be about? What channel am I now subscribed to? And if you're not subscribed, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe, so go ahead and click the subscribe button so that when the channel relaunches, you're ready for it. The best way I can sum it up is that it's gonna be sewing, shopping, and stories. And a little bit of fashion thrown in, but that doesn't start with an S, so it doesn't belong in the sentence. So you can think of another S word that means fashion, let me know, because uh, I can't think of any. The sewing content really isn't going to change much. It's going to mostly be what you guys are used to, just with like, I don't know, maybe like a more polished feel to it, and also um, some new ideas for some projects I have going that I'm really excited about, and I really can't wait to share with you guys. The shopping side of the channel, you guys have seen a little bit of it here and there on the channel, and that is the antique calls and the estate sales, and I'll be doing more of that because that's kind of been my comfort shopping lately and I'm gonna get a little bit more back into some fashion lookbooks or um, clothing company reviews that kind of thing I really enjoy doing that and I want to bring that back to the channel so that will be making an appearance back on and then the monthly top 10 fashion live stream is gonna be coming back um, I will be doing that with JL every month and we'll have guests coming on to join us for that. It's always just such a fun time and I love doing live streams because I can get to talk to you guys and I kind of want to like pump that up a little bit as well, get some feedback and more um, participation from you guys on that. And then finally, the thing that is brand new to the channel is stories. And I am super excited about this. And I'm going to be a little bit vague about what those stories are going to be. But essentially what had happened is in October, I went back to doing tours for Weird Chicago. If you guys have been around since a long time, you might know that um, as well as being a ghost hunter for a long time, I used to do ghost, gangster, prohibition, serial killer, true crime tours in Chicago. Um, loved doing them for years and years and years, but then with a full-time job and then being out in the suburbs now, it, it became too much. So I very sadly had to let it go, but I always, um, I'm like an alternate, like they need me. I'm always on call. And they put out the ghost symbol in October and I answered and I had so much fun doing it and it made me realize how much I miss being able to tell stories of strange and the unusual so I wanted to tie those type of stories into my love of vintage and come up with some really great stories of the strange and unusual to share with you guys uh so I hope you guys are so I, I literally have goosebumps I'm so so stinking excited about this new series and I'm like smack dab in the middle of writing the first one and I just cannot wait to share it with you guys. So that begs the question of is the when. When can you see all this great new content on my channel and um it's gonna be a hot second. Yeah uh the channel is going to officially relaunch on Sunday February 5th. So yeah, a couple months yet, but the reason for that is that on February 5th, every Sunday after that, there will be a brand new video waiting for you. So these couple months that I've been uh, planning and redesigning and doing all the new, like planning out the content, is all in the effort to provide consistently, consistency, which I've struggled with for the past couple years as my life has become just this extreme roller coaster where the highs have been amazing and the lows have sucked butt really bad. Doing this kind of pre-planning, I can almost, I, you know, one little thing isn't going to throw off my schedule and then 
I get into the point, well, well, I missed last week, so now I'm, I'm now I've really messed it up, right? So there'll be consistency going forward. So you can look forward to a video every Sunday, which I'm super excited about, and I hope you guys are too. That also means that you guys are definitely gonna want to make sure to follow me on the other social media platforms. Not only so you can keep track of this face in the next two months, but also uh, to make sure that you don't miss the relaunch of the channel. And if you click on the notification bell, even if you're subscribed already, make sure you've got that those notifications on so that you get notified when the channel goes live. And I'll probably do a little do a little something that day as well as launching the channel. What that's going to be, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this either. Things are all a big question. So now that we have that out of the way, I am going to finally tell you where the truth in those four statements laid, lied, lies, lays, lays, lied. Well, hopefully you guys aren't here for proper grammar and sentence structure because you're not going to find it here if you are. <laughs> and I will also say there was a little bit of truth in every one of those statements. While I was not kidnapped by a dragon, <laughs> I was at Dragon Con in Atlanta this year, which was my first time, and it was amazing. I was there for work, and I actually got to meet a couple of you guys, which was so fun. While I haven't been seam ripping the same dress for the past five months, which if you've been there, sometimes it feels like it's that, that long. I have been spending a lot of time in the sewing room just to kind of get my creative juices and my love of sewing again kind of going because it felt like everything I was sewing, um, I was trying to film or was centered around the videos and then it just got to a this kind of place um, just became really heavy. I just needed to go to the well and replenish, if that makes sense. Waiting for people to subscribe. I think part of it too is I, I kind of did this little push to try to get to 50k, which was incredibly hard and it wasn't really resulting in, it did a little bit, but not a lot. And like my views on my videos have been all over the place and they've been down and then I tried doing different things and I was really proud of some of my videos and how they turned out. And then like nobody was really watching them. And it just felt bad. It felt really bad and it made me sad and it got me depressed and um, that wasn't a, a headspace I wanted to be in anymore. And then I started questioning like, why am I doing it? If I'm just looking at the view count all the time and that really started to get to me as well. So I kind of needed to step away from that. And I, I spent a lot of time in therapy, like talking about that and like really looking at um, social media and YouTube and, and how it affects uh, my life and how I see myself and I do social media as a job as well which is different than what I do here and kind of like really walking through that and exploring that with my therapist really got me to this point where I was like I love it I, I would love to do this all the time and I love how many people I've met and all the good things that have come out of this and I want that again and uh, that's why I was like you know what I'm just kind of kind of clean the house organized spring cleaning gonna do a little spring cleaning on the channel and that's kind of where we are now and I've never been more excited about where things are going um, so which leads us to the only thing that could be really 100% true and that is <laughs> from my Buffy cosplay, uh, which is not a very well-made steak. But it is my steak because I am the slayer of the forces of darkness that have been surrounding my brain. Um, yeah, I've just been um, not, not, not in a great space. And um, I've been struggling with depression and grief. Um, Anybody who's lost anybody, I think, especially just, you know, you lose somebody that you love and that's a big part of your life. Um, uh, grief will show itself in different ways throughout your time. It, it's not linear. It doesn't make sense. Um, and it just affects you in different ways. And I feel like now with my mom gone, I'm also still mourning the loss of my dad and then not having parents anymore, you know? I mean, it's a hard knock life. You know, you got that reference. Um, so 
So it was dealing with that, with that grief all over again. And then unfortunately, just before Thanksgiving, um, a lot of you guys have seen in my Instagram or my, my videos that I did adopt an older dog, Kaylee, um, who is the most beautiful black lab you've ever met in your life. And, uh, she really helped me through the grieving process with my mom. And if you can't tell already, I lost her right before Thanksgiving. Um, she had a um, spleen cancer that had uh, metastasized, met basically spread in her body. And then the mass in her spleen erupted. Um, so she didn't exhibit signs until she did, and then I only had a week with her before she was gone. And that's been, that was not fun. I'll <laughs> tell you that right now. Um, so it's just been really hard. And if, if, if I hadn't gone through um, all the therapy and everything that I've been doing for the past year, I don't think I would be... Um, back on YouTube again, uh, because it is one of those things that I'm going to say something that I feel like is a little controversial right now. Um, but please listen to the full explanation of this because I don't want to take away from the statement, but I also want people to realize there's a danger in it as well. And as that is the statement of it is okay to not be okay. That damaged me in so many ways and let me fall into this pit of despair. It gave me a reason to not do anything about it because I was like, well, it's okay for me to not feel okay. This is okay. And then I fell farther and farther and farther. And then I try to come out and then I fall back down. Um, and while that statement is absolutely okay, you do not have to feel okay every day. You don't have to try to mask your sadness or mask your struggles. You, but at the same time, you, you need to not let that statement be a blanket to hold you down. And that's what I allowed it to do. So while it is okay to not be okay, it is also not okay to continually allow yourself to not be okay. If you keep telling yourself that day by day by day, seek therapy, talk to somebody, whether it's a friend, um, reach out for help because we don't need to be the chipper, um, optimistic human beings every day of our life. And I think social media does wonders for uh, in a lot of ways. I mean, I love it, but it also can paint a picture of perfection that nobody has nobody's life is perfect. Nothing is 100% happiness, but you can be happy. You do not have to feel sad every single day. There is help out there. And the other side of it is it takes time. Like when I started therapy and I started making the videos again, I was like, this is it. This is it. I've got my energy back. I, I I've got these really happy moments again and oh my gosh this is so amazing and here I am and then something would happen and I would go from there to the bottom again and then I would start to tell myself like you know you're failing at YouTube every time you try you're doing worse and um, it became just another thing that I saw that I was failing at and it, it just became this vicious cycle. And then I came to the realization that it takes time. It takes time. Don't be hard on yourself. And the days that you can't, you can't. And the days that you can, you can. Right? And we can't be hard on ourselves when, like, you can't get out of your pajamas that day. You know what? So it was a pajama day. Make the most of it. Embrace that pajama day. Don't talk down to yourself that you can't have a pajama day and that you're not worth anything because you can't get out of your pajamas and look at all those people who got out of their pajamas today and did this, that, and the other. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm not going to continue on about this because I, I feel like I could 
talk for a long time about this. Um, but to suffice, just suffice it to say, that is where I've been. That is where my inconsistency has been coming from. And am I saying everything was perfect now? And wow, oh, look at me, I'm gonna post every week and I'm gonna be consistent until the cows come home and I'm gonna be the best YouTuber in the world. No, I mean, it's life. But now I am planning for that. Instead of beating myself up every time I miss something, well, I'm just gonna plan for the days that, guess what, some days, I'm not going to want to get out of my pajamas. Some days I'm not going to be able to film a video. And that, my friends, is okay. So I'm just going to plan for it. So I am really excited um, for February. And I hope you guys are as well. And like I said, if you're going to miss me before that happens, follow me on the social media. And I would love to hear from you guys. So go ahead, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I will see you soon. Bye. Was that a weird, abrupt end to the video? No, but I always have a hard time hanging up the phone. And this is me not being able to hang up the phone. So I'm hanging up the phone right now. I will call you back in February. Bye.